I had nothing, you know, Russian people at that time had to be stripped of their citizenship, labeled as traitors. I think there's always a desire, uh, especially for Jews in Russia uh, at that time, to come to America because, uh, you know, this is where you could actually be Jewish. My perception was that I had a good life in Russia, but I have been exposed to not so good things, like I couldn't get a job. I just didn't know how bad it was until I came here. You know, as everybody at that time, we wanted freedom. We were so afraid to live in the Soviet Union. We had an image of America as it was uh, Las Vegas. I think my mom and my parents both wanted the ability for themselves to you know, be able to be Jewish freely and for the opportunity that they had in America and also for me to have that opportunity because I'm sure they felt like I wouldn't have had that had we stayed in Soviet Russia. And So my parents came here with, with almost nothing. We had $150 you know, and not much because we weren't allowed to take much. You know, Keep in mind we had three weeks to leave the country and restrictions on what you could and couldn't take. So we planned to come to Denver. GFS was in the airport to meet me. My first visit was to a synagogue, and I saw a rabbi, and he broke all the stereotypical ideas of how a rabbi should look. It blew me away. But that was my first introduction, and I thought it is a palace. It was not a synagogue. This woman comes up to me and she says, my name is Yana Vishnitsky. I just came here today from the Soviet Union. She introduced me to her husband and to her son. And we've been friends ever since. You know, I think my mom had a bit of an advantage coming here in that she knew English. And she got the job with JFS, like literally the day we came. For a long time, she was a single mom working for a nonprofit, you know, frankly, on a nonprofit salary. You know, there was always financial struggles, but I think she always found different solutions for them. My life was split in two. One life before I came to America and another life after. Nobody talked about the losses. Nobody understood what we have been going through. I think we didn't understand very clearly what we were going through. I felt that my task would be to educate people about life, who we are. And I felt it's my mission. We had a lot of clients that were so grateful for what Jewish Family Service was doing for them. She has a heart and she cares. She's a remarkable woman. She has achieved so much in her life and it wasn't easy. You know what I like about Yana? She truly is a Renaissance woman. She has compassion. She lived the life, and when she became a very powerful woman, she always remembered where she came from. And you could see that in the way she did things. I think it goes back to that combination of passion and directness. There's a lot of integrity and a lot of substance when she's carrying forward her leadership duties. She found her own form, and I think that was building deep relationships. Yana's passion for this work has really infused the agency with energy and goals that it just didn't have before. She has brought a lot of innovative programs to JFS and really catapulted it into a whole different league. I believe that Yana is a visionary and that she saw all of the needs in the community and she sought ways to bridge the gap and figure out how to accommodate as many of those needs as possible. So she's left quite a legacy of creating a huge impactful organization. Nobody feels obligated when they go to JFS. What they do is they feel grateful, but she never tries to put on the, I'm giving it to you. I'm helping you as you would help me if I were in this situation. JFS has been such an uh, incredible influence and such a strong influence in my mom's life. You know, I think a lot of her identity and a lot of, you know, how she defines herself is integrally kind of interwoven with JFS. My mom has taught me to really, you know, love what I do, kind of make it a passion. I'm proud of what she's done with the agency and proud of the life she's built for herself in America.
Jewish Family Service is not today what it was when she came here. It is way beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Yana has tripled the budget since she became the CEO, and that's huge. Most people don't make a difference. She has. It's not the CEO that makes the agency great. It is the staff and the people who have been supporting us. I am in awe, respect, and gratitude. Gratitude and gratitude and gratitude. Thank you, Yana. Thanks, Yana. Thank you, Yana. Bye, Yana. Thanks you. for everything. Bye, Yana. Yana, you're the best. We'll miss Thank you. Yana. Thank you, Yana. We love Yana. Thank you, Yana. Thank you so much. We wish you the Muchas best. Muchas gracias, Señora Diana. I have been driven by passion because I deeply, deeply in my core believe that GFS does an incredible job with taking care of people. I feel inspired by that. And to me, that is the strength of the organization. Find your passion and you will be the best, as I found my passion.